So, Mr. Bullet, you're mm -hmm. here. It's a Sunday. Sunday. Man, end of the year. You Coming into a new year. Actually, a new decade. <laughs> 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 you know the, 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 like, it's funny these things about new year and uh, it's the same old days yeah. you see but they're trying to catch up with years and their time like because you see Monday it's evening and uh, only we have only two days most yeah. we have e evening and uh, in the daylight yeah. but they're putting dates and, and, and months to catch up with time but you know, the reason why I say that is coming to the new year and all that stuff, everybody doing things, everybody said, new, the new year, I'm going to do this, yeah. this new year, blah, 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 no, no, no. Now, you've been working on as a, of course, you know, we don't do that community developer thing. What are you, a village village developer? Village. Whatever you are, whatever yeah. whatever title you you, you <laughs> made up for yourself. Ain't no good, no <laughs> But something you've been working on, I mean, literally for years, yeah. it's finally coming into fruition, all your work that you've been doing. Yeah. Uh, you know, has been it's sort of this yeah. might be the year that it sort of you see everything some, is coming up now. Mm, mm, mm. Well, well, tell us what the project is because you, it's sort of I don't want to say elaborate, but you know, you, you the group the group is is the movement out of Dumbasa. Yeah, the Dumbasa movement. But now we're in a, what's called holiday season, so a lot of people yeah. people are saying we're in the Eastern Cape. Yep. And so what happens in the Eastern Cape of Southern Africa or South Africa? What happens is there's no resources there, there's no jobs here. Yeah. So people end up going to like you know bigger bigger cities like Joburg or well Cape Town Durban P like that, but now these this holiday season you know everybody has off for almost a month, it used to be a month but now they they, they, they go that they they all they come back to the Eastern Cape, and then they go back to their whatever jobs every time they come back they always come back. They always come back because the Eastern Cape is their home. But they also come back like they try and big, big, big people. They bring yeah, it, they buy the refrigerators, put it again. Doing parties, doing traditional works, they're doing the the jollings, all that thing. Mm -hmm. They are getting back home to have fun because where they are coming from, they can have much fun mm -hmm. than when they, they are at home. Well, they're hustling where, where they come yeah. from. But, 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 but you see, what is skeptical about Eastern Cape people? Mm. They are going to Jordan, they are going to Cape to, to Cape Town, they are mm -hmm. going to, to these places. But when they are coming back, mm. they don't they don't they don't have that vision to, to, to develop the, the, the their place. Mm. Because Eastern Cape needs to be developed by their by its own people. Mm. You see? Because they just go to Cape Town, go but when they come back, they don't come with something that can 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 help this place to grow. You see? Because there are people who are here in Eastern Cape just like me and others. You see, they're supposed to, to, to communicate with us. So, mm. like, guys, what is going on there? So, what we can do to help out or what we can do to assist there? But they, there is no communication between the people who are in Eastern Cape and the people who are in abroad, like mm. Cape Town and other places, so that they can we can all grow this place together. But when they're coming back, they come back just to, to brag. Ah, we have cars, so, we have yeah. these, oh, but they don't have the, 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 something that mm. we can sit down and talk about it. They come back to brag rather yeah, than to build. Exactly. Because that, you see, okay. just like yesterday, I meet with two guys and then I, we talk with the guys. Let's sit down and try to figure something out what we can do for this place. Well, this is what everybody does. If you have some sort of um, uh, some sort of success, whatever you want to call yeah. it, um, the first thing they do is they bling themselves up and come yeah. back to their neighborhood to say, yeah. "Hey, I made it!" Hey, hey blah blah. Yeah. You know. Like so they might, you see, when they are coming back, they, they this 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 thing that I don't like. All those who are working, they just build, join themselves together and then they stay to their corner. Mm. Those who are not working or those who are here who are not in good positions, mm. they just leave them there. But they don't know But this place has, has been safeguarded by these people who are living here. Ah. Uh, you see? Mm. They don't see it like that. They don't see it like they that. They see like they went someplace, made their fortune, yeah. and now they come back to, you know, yeah. show everybody I made my fortune, rather than to say, hey, okay, I got you, I got You're you. You're supposed to appreciate those who were left behind. So how, how is the movement uh, addressing this? I guess that's the question. So that's the other thing, because now we are trying, you see, look, this year, we said we're going to create a development forums mm -hmm. for each and every village. Eh? So to the Zabalaza village, I will meet two guys. I told you I will meet two guys. Yeah. So these guys, we're going to sit down and talk now. What they, what is going to be their contribution or their assistance 
to the village while they are gone. So we're going to sit down. While they're, they're gone. While they're, they're going to come back to break. Yeah, while they're, while they're, they're going. Going. So they must mm. work something out because they are working to the companies. Mm. So they're supposed to, 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 to try to figure out how they can assist, not even taking money from their pockets to, 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 to convince their bosses about their place. Mm-hmm. You see, to convince their bosses about what we are doing here. Mm-hmm. You see, because we're going to send them some stuff and then they will talk to their bosses or they can give uh-huh. us some contact so that we can talk with their bosses and convince them but they can come and help Eastern Cape out. We don't need help, but we only need resources. Mm. You see, because if you can get resources, we can do whatever we want. So the res- basically, resources are in the big cities. Yeah, exactly. The resources are not here. And, the, and, and since, since, I don't want to say government, but, but since other forces yeah. don't know how to uh, to raise up everybody, yeah. they'd rather raise up a few people, say, hey, see how, how, we're, how we're doing? We have so many people do this, so many people got these yeah. degrees, so many da 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 da, da. Yeah, okay. okay. So people, they will fly to Jobek, they will fly to Cape Town, instead of creating our own base here in Eastern Cape. Yeah. Yeah. Because the Baza is a base. Because you see, now we have everything there. Yeah. So we, we know we have the infrastructure. Yeah, in the yeah. Okay. we have infrastructure. We got factories. We got artists. We got railway line. We got like we have a lot of stuff there. No, people don't even know. The Baza even has a little airport airstrip. Airstrip, yeah, <laughs> airstrip. Yeah. Well, somebody's gonna take advantage of this sometimes. Mm. So, 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 what's your idea? That Zabalaza is just one village. How many villages are you talking about involved? In this? Fifteen to twenty. Fifteen to twenty villages yeah. in the, around us of the, the yeah. Maza area. Yeah, but Zavalaza now it's a it calls it's going it's a first it's a it's a baby. Mm-hmm. The, the baby pro- project of EU development forum is starting there. So mm-hmm. we're going to, 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 to continue from November now, November, December, January, in end of January I'm going out of Zavalaza because I must make sure everything like is settled there. They mm-hmm. understand all the, 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 the technologies of the movement mm-hmm. and their forums. Mm-hmm. You see, they must know themselves first. Mm-hmm. They mustn't just just give them well, what to do when I'm gone. Nothing is happening. Then, then they'd be like any other. Uh, they'd be like an NGO because what yeah. happens is the community is waiting for an NGO to come. Yeah. NGO gives them stuff, food, everything yeah. like that. NGO yeah. leaves, yeah, and they work. basically say bye. See you, that and they wait for the next NGO to come. Exactly. You're trying to okay. All right, I got exactly. you. you. See what we're trying. We're trying to to to, to, to equip people mentally mm-hmm. instead of giving people some gadgets, people some freebies. Now mm-hmm. that thing that doesn't work. Mm-hmm. Doesn't mm-hmm. work. Okay, so 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 the first prototype, the first incubator is yeah. Zabalaza. Then, then, then what's how many more? Do you, that, that's the first one you really concentrate on. Yeah. How many more? Immediate, not immediate. Well, in a few next few months, what's the timetable? See, you see, the, the, the time frame is for five years, brother. But mm-hmm. the project must run for twelve years so that it can set it there in, in Zimbabwe. Mm-hmm. You see, because Zabalaza is the first, and then we created a a relationship between Zabalaza. And traditional leaders, ah, you see? Mm. and then traditional leaders, they have an interest on young people because mm. you see, people, young people, they are not too much in their tradition. Mm-hmm. So now it's their time to learn about their tradition, and they must involve themselves to the traditional leaders. So mm. they must have a link there, mm-hmm. so they can have that control o- over their tradition, and then have respect to their. What is this thing? It's uh, cultures and customs. Mm-hmm. You see, the moment the young people they get there, they they can conquer whatever they want to. Mm-hmm. This is quite interesting because uh, what happens a lot of times people complain about NGOs because it's almost mm-hmm. like the government's supposed to do this, but since mm-hmm. the government won't do this, NGO steps in. Yeah. And but but now. It, um, now, what you're basically saying is traditional leaders, instead of having government, gov- actually yeah. government is out of this. Always, yeah. There's no NGOs involved with this. Exactly. It actually is the traditional leaders and the community yeah. that they are supposed to be supposed leading. To be leading. Yeah. Oh, well, I shouldn't suppose because it seems like they, if they're on board with this, as you say, if they're surreal, yeah. after all these years, after all these, yeah. well, how many, 25 years, 20 years, I don't know how many, freedom, yeah. whatever it is. Um, um, so, okay, so, so I, what I want to ask is a couple of things. Yeah. One, uh, about how many people is in Zebla? How, how many people is in each village? You know, what, what is each village like? Um, I'm going to count young people. Mm. Young people, we can say fifty to sixty mm. each and every village, but it depends to the scale of the village. Right. So, 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 let's say on average, are you uh, each village you go to, you can you can gather about twenty people. How many people? More, more, more than that. More than mm. that. 
because you see Zawalas, I think we gathered more than 60 last time. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I, I understand the village is bigger, but yeah. the people that's involved, yeah. if you do just do the young people, that's whatever it is. Yeah. And then out of the young people, there's, there's a certain amount of young people that will yeah. understand this without and money. And you break them down because you see, you see when you are in, in the meeting, mm -hmm. all the young people support you in the meeting. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So they are having their sectors there because mm -hmm. there's agricultural sector. Yeah? Mm -hmm. there's, there's the business sector, but on the business sector, it depends what do they want to do. Mm -hmm. So there are people who are busy with, with the, what hair, hair salon, mm -hmm. and there are others who want to do this thing. It's soup kitchen. Mm -hmm. So and there are other projects also they are involved. Mm -hmm. But we, are, we must first start with this that we can do stuff without having any money with. That you can manage. Yeah. Okay, on your so, yeah. So it's going to to build to build themselves up until they reach the level that they understand themselves what they want to do. Mm -hmm. But the young people, they must stand up for themselves, not depending. And then they must have the, what is this thing? Mm -hmm. They don't, You see, young people, they don't have a platform. Mm -hmm. You see, now young people are giving young people platform to lead themselves, mm -hmm. not depending on the politicians. Oh, okay, you you, young people are creating your own platform. Yeah, okay. mm -hmm. because you see, on the space of the politics, they cannot, don't, they cannot have a say because young people, they are not interested in politics, mm -hmm. you see. But when they involve themselves into community-based stuff, they are eager to, to participate. Mm -hmm. You see, so now we are giving them that platform. Mm -hmm. They must participate on what they want to do. You don't give young people, do this, no. Ask them, what do you want to do? Mm -hmm. After, okay, fine, let's do it together. And then after, said, okay, fine. Champion this thing, because it's yours, it's not mine, it's not for anybody. Mm -hmm. Whoever who said, once this, they must champion it, they must own it. Mm. If you give the young people the chance to own their stuff, South Africa can change. Not tell them what to do, control them. No, don't do this like this. No, let them do the way they want to do it. But you're also saying that each village is going to have different different uh, suggestions, different suggestions. Needs, different... Exactly. Mm. exactly. So that's what it is. Yeah. Okay, well, let's end it here and see what, see what, what else is going to happen. Yeah. All right, thanks a lot. Okay, question.